how to modify the parameters or the look of the block that you will be creating in your library. So let's start with the simple design. New link library. Now in file tab, new, and instead of model, we have to select library. So for this library design, I'm just going to create a simple model. So commonly used block. We are going to need an input port, output port. So let's say so select all zoom in. So make the connection. Okay, now. I select this entire design and right click. Now there is this option create subsystem from selection or there is a shortcut key control G. So I am selecting this option. So you can see here the subsystem is created out of the selection. So Yeah. So we won't be needing this outer input output port. So delete it. Delete. So let us have a look inside the subsystem. So this is the design that we made. So this can act as a library block now. So let's modify the look of this block. So right click and in format, foreground color, I'm selecting it as cyan. Now, now again right click, format, background color. This time I'm selecting background color as gray. Okay. Now I want name of the subsystem to appear in this rectangular area. So to do that, right click, mask, and create mask. Or you can use the shortcut key Control M. So you can see here four tabs: icon and quotes. Parameters, Initialization, Documentation. In Icon and Quotes, you can write here Icon dr Drawing Commands. In Parameter, this is where you define your parameter to this block or the dialog box configuration. Initialization Command. For larger system, we generally need initialization for services. So for services, uh, the initialization is done in this part so and in documentation you can see here mask type mask description and mask help in mask if I write something like a b c okay so select apply okay and now I double click this block And go to its help option. So you can see here the ABC is written in the help. So whatever you write in the mask help option, so that will appear here. Okay. So Using it now, let's create the mask edit mask. So, 
I want name to appear on the rectangular area. So this in colon in parentheses in single quote whatever the name you want to give your blog so my blog apply ok so now you can see my blog name has appeared on the rectangular area similarly here you can change it manually my blog ok now I want to give name to the input out and output port and it should appear on this rectangular area so right click mask edit mask and here you can see port level so here the syntax for the port level is given so I'm copying this text Control V, Control V. So for this, to give the semicolon, terminate the sentence. So input. I want to give the name of signal and output as out. Apply. Okay. So you can see the signal and out name has appeared on the rectangular area. So save this library. Save as. Library. Five. Save. Okay. So now I want to use this block in some model. So new model drag this block in the model okay. so in display library link and select user define so you can see the pin shaped symbol has appeared on this block this shows that it is linked to some library so right click and you can see here that there are two options go to library link and disable link if you select go to library link you can see you come to the library which it is linked to so I'm copying this block. Okay. So for one of these blocks, I'm selecting disable link option. So you can see the difference between this pin shaped symbols. So it shows disable link. So let's go inside this block. To do that, right click and mark. There is this look under mask option or shortcut key control U you can use to go inside this block or here is a small arrow shape symbol you can select that so to go inside this block. Now I'm changing this okay and let's come to this block. Let's go inside this. There is no change. Now go to library. Let's see what is inside. So there is no change in the position of input and output block. So okay. Now let's change the position of this block here you can see a notification 
attempt to modify a link you can disable this link now or restore later so instead of doing that we are going to the library in diagram this is lock links to library and here is the option library unlock which is currently disabled so let's go inside this library block and move this output block here okay now come to our model let's go inside the block the one which is linked to the library so you can see the same changes are reflected in the block which is linked to the library and now go inside this block which is not linked to the library so there are no same changes in this block so be careful while disabling or restoring the links now I right click on this block and select withdraw link ok so restore all ok now let's go inside this block and you can see the same changes are in this block also which are in the library block so this is for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and thank you guys thank you for watching